Part two of the jinx, Robert Durst. So after disguising himself as a mute and deaf woman and unaliving his neighbor, it's found out that Robert is a member of the Durst family who owns the Durst organization and is essentially a skyscraper heir. And this is his brother, Douglas Durst, with another family member. Let me just say his brother is a victim of who his sibling is. Um, so what happened initially was that Robert Durst put out the bail of $250,000 and then ended up on the run. The day that he was supposed to be arraigned, he did not show up. His family lawyers had a press conference saying, Robert, please turn yourself in. The family has the money to fight for you. Just turn yourself in. Robert didn't turn himself in, but was instead arrested at a Wegmans where he was trying to steal a sandwich. Which made zero sense considering Robert had $37,000 in his trunk as well as several weapons. So anyway, he hired two lawyers to try to get him out of being prosecuted. With the public eye on Robert, and of course not in a good way, everyone started to remember Kathleen, Robert's wife who had vanished. The last person she was seen with was Robert. And at around the same time, a movie called All Good Things came out. And this was loosely based on Robert Durst and his first wife, Kathleen. And what happened next shocked the people working on the film. One day, Eamon Bowles, a distributor for the production company, heard a very meek voice on the line. And when he asked who it was, he had to ask twice because the person said Robert Durst. And he said he was looking for Andrew Jarecki, somebody else who worked on the film. Hello. Hi, Mr. Durst. Hi, Mr. Jarecki. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, I just saw the movie. So I have an idea. I have no idea if it makes any sense, but, but you're the one to talk to about. Sure. Would it make sense for as, in some capacity, there to be an interview with me related to what's in the movie? Yeah, I think that's a fascinating idea. I'll be in touch soon. I'm glad that we had a chance to talk. All righty. Bye-bye. Nice to talk to you. Mr. Jarecki. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I think you should feel free to call me Andrew, by the way. I'm um, Andrew, how are you? I have over the years been approached by all the various interview shows, and I'm not interested in doing a true crime kind of stuff. Right. You know more about Robert Durst than any of those people do. I guess the question is, you know, has anybody really done a piece on you where they didn't walk into it? with very strong assumption. One possibility is to have me interview you after having made this film 